Okay, so what is up everyone this is Siren here welcome back to tech Kiran youtube channel the latest build for this redmi note 9 pro users the latest stockroom based on miui 12.0.3 is now released and the ota update link is in the description including the recovery stable link also is in the description if you want to install from recovery on other devices you can install that if you're using redmi note 9 as katana global version this is the latest version which i'm talking about the miui 12.0.3 stable version which is just released some time ago we have the latest security patch this time so this seems to be really nice the ota link is in the description for using a global device you can update it via ota let's get started let's find out some little bit of things about this update guys this is the thing which i was talking about minuai 12.0.3.0 stable version which is just released some time ago and if i show you the what's new option what is the change log of this build they said that updated android security patch to january 2021 so this is really nice that we have the latest january 2021 security patch now available for india for india we have the build which is based on android version 11 i made a video on that one which is not released as an ota but that's released as a recovery update if you want to install it from a custom recovery if you have unlocked bootloader you can install that but this one is for all the global stable devices and that also has the december security patch but in this global stable global stable update we have the security patch of january 2021 so the latest security patch is here also the increase the system security of course if the security patch is updated which means increased system security but nothing else nothing to talk about because this update does not include many things only a little bit of things are available if you compare it with the india stable which is based on android 11 there are no features based on android 11 available here if you go for the display option wait let me show you by going into display we have the new light mode and dark mode option available so this is really good here at least you can simply switch between light mode and dark mode by just one click a new dark mode ui you can say but other things are same brightness level and other things control center and notification shade has the same kind of things control center sector is available and working it does not include the android 11 features by the way if you go for the notifications tab we have the notification shade wallpapers has the same kind of things expectedly theme same this is the global stable so that's why it includes the google dialer and the google messages app but other things are same here this is actually a global stable so if you go for the theme store we have the global theme store available i have applied a custom theme by the way but yes this is a global global room so it does not comes it does not allow you to import the third party themes so that's why i tried a theme from the theme store by downloading it from the google uh, downloading it from the theme store by going here themes i have applied the destro os if you want to apply this theme, you can apply it directly. I don't think so. I need to provide the link for that. Testro OS is the name of the theme. You can simply search for it and you'll find it easily. Moving on to the other things. Yes, it's a global stable. So yes, some same apps, Zilli. And if you're looking for the news and Netflix, me credit, me picks and some Google shit, everything is available here. All those things are available, automatically downloaded. You cannot force close them, you cannot uh, disable them. Some apps can be easily uninstalled and disabled, but some can't be, for example, LinkedIn can be easily uninstallable. You can simply uninstall this. If you go for the Netflix, you can uninstall this. Yes, if you watch, then it's good. But if you don't watch, we also have the Facebook do all these apps are available automatically install after you install it on your device if you have an unlocked bootloader and if you're using india variant or other variant you want to install this latest global stable update you can install it via simply custom recovery and if you're using a global stable device which has the previous update you want to update it via ota the ota link is also in the description you will you can download and you'll get this latest version 12.0.3 which is based on android version 10 it does not come with the android version 11 unfortunately yet india stable already got that android 11 but not as an ota but they will get ota very soon but global stable users already got the ota based on android 10 mui 12.0.3.0 no mui 12.5 yet but yes you need to wait for that but the best thing is the latest security patch is available these are the things i just wanted to let you know i hope you like this the link is in the description this is all thanks for watching and goodbye